Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another episode of our City Zoo. And this episode, I've built this one a very long time ago. I do have to admit that. I was building this one until I heard that I could get the early access for the South America pack. Uh, so yeah, back then I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I just want to play the South America pack now. So I never uploaded this episode yet, but it has been in the zoo for all this time. So finally, we are here. I do have to apologize that I didn't upload yesterday. That is because I have been doing so many changes the last few days in my Discord server, setting up new moderators and also preparing a contest we're gonna do for Planet Zoo in our Discord server. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm a little bit late, but I will make it up to you guys. I will upload tomorrow another video again. So tomorrow we're going to upload a rat panda habitat. It's finally going to happen, the rat panda, which I wanted to add as the first animal in the zoo because you guys voted for the rat panda and we never did. And we're now at, what is it? Episode 18, episode 19, I don't know. <laughs> but the rat panda is finally coming to our city zoo. So hopefully you guys will like that. And if you want to join the uh, Planet Zoo contest I just mentioned, it's just an inspirational contest for the honor mostly, but if you like to do that and see what other people are going to create, definitely join my Discord server as always, you can find a link for my Discord server in the description down below. So we're going to build a flamingo habitat and obviously this is going to be at the entrance as you may already have noticed. And on the other side of the bridge you will see the white bridge, there are the ring-tailed lemur and the rat buff lemur. So this is on the opposite side of that bridge. And I also created an extra viewing gallery for the people to look at the flamingos. Now the hardest part for this habitat was to get the terrain right and like when I look at the zoo I know that has flamingos right at the entrance, I don't really see the flamingos really swimming. It's mostly like super shallow water and they are standing like on one leg and that's basically it. So I tried to make the water as shallow as possible, but that was quite a struggle with the water system in the game. But in the end, it really worked out and we have like these small little islands in between of the water. So I'm going to add like those uh, special feeders for the flamingos at the middle of that island. And afterwards, I had to make sure that also, of course, the keeper is able to still uh, reach that feeder because else it can't fill it. So that was quite a struggle in the end. So I ended up with like adding some rocks to make the water as shallow as possible so the keeper would be able to reach it. Unfortunately, the keepers still are not able to walk through the water even though it's shallow water. I do remember that at some point I saw one using shallow water, but afterwards I never saw it. And in this case, it didn't work either. So yeah, we just have to work with that. It's sometimes unfortunate that you really have to change a lot of plans just to make sure that the keepers are able to reach something. Uh, but in the end, it all looks super nice and well, and I tried to create some more fences and some more green and some flowers and stuff to really make this still a nice habitat. Because in the end, let's be honest, if you look for a flamingo habitat in real life zoos, it's mostly not super interesting. Like it's mostly even just an island with some grass or or maybe some rocks or it's, it's nothing. I didn't really find any spectacular habitat, only more with like a lot of netting and stuff. Well, that's something we don't have, so I can't really pay attention to that, unfortunately. But basically, the habitats themselves look pretty plain and pretty boring. I even send pictures to Mike Sheets like, hey, would you maybe have any other suggestion of doing anything more in this habitat than I already did? And he was like, meh, no. Flamingo habitats are mostly just very plain and boring, so just add some, some green and stuff to make it still a little bit lush, but that's basically all you can do for flamingos. So yeah, it might not be the most interesting habitat, but still having the beautiful pink flamingos at the entrance of our zoo, having the noises they make when you enter the zoo, 
I think that's just really nice to have them at the entrance of our zoo. And when it comes to the shelter, I didn't really want to make it like a super fancy or anything. So the shelter itself is like mostly just some concrete and it's also mostly hidden away behind some terrain and some rocks and a lot of bushes and a lot of trees. So you can still see a glimpse of the shelter. Like the zoo that I know from Rotterdam Zoo, you can't even see a shelter at all. I, I don't even know if they have one. I, I guess they have one like hidden away somewhere behind some bushes and some trees but I have no idea. Uh, so yeah in this case in our zoo the people can see a little bit of the entrance of the shelter which I also used a lot of the limestone for like we used for a lot of the buildings in this area to still keep it a little bit in the same style obviously. But I do have to say for the rat panda that we're going to make we're going to take a little bit of a different route I really want to have an area in our city zoo which is like very classical and with like all the colors you see right now with a lot of limestone and a lot of white. But obviously as more as the city zoo will evolve we will see more modern buildings, more a little bit thematic buildings because still like not really thematic buildings but more thematic areas. Because let's be real, if you go to a city zoo, you still have some habitats that still have their own style and also a little bit inspired of sometimes their continent that the animals are from. So you still have some thematic areas. So I think it's cool to have this classical theme in some area of our city zoo, which basically would represent the older state of the city zoo but some areas in between will already be renovated to like a more thematic area some areas will be more renovated to really very modern buildings like as i mentioned as example i really would love to do something with the hippo habitat from berlin which are basically two very big glassy uh, ge ge oh, I always have trouble with pronouncing that name geodastic ge ge I don't know how to say it geodastic dome something like that hopefully you guys know what I mean so yeah it's going to be a mixture but still when you would look at the zoo from the top you can really tell what was what used to be the old part of the zoo. I think that's going to be a very cool idea to continue our zoo. It's not like we're already finished, of course, with the older area. There still will be a lot more we have to finish and some other buildings we can add to it. But it's nice to not have like the complete entire zoo with the same style of buildings. I think that's going to be boring. So yeah, for the rat panda, I really chose a different route. So I really hope you guys will like that. It's going to be right very hidden away with a lot of uh, trees and stuff around it. So you won't really notice it that much when you approach it even. But yeah, I'm just really excited to also add the rat pandas. I was really excited for building that specific area. But also, of course, as I mentioned, like we just did the episode for Kuali Zoo where we built the overpass. That was also a little bit of me trying to, to test the overpasses because you guys gave me so many suggestions on my community wall. So thank you guys so much for that. And for City Zoo, I really want to use the Jacksonville Zoo as a lot of inspiration. So it's going to be a challenge because it's a very, very beautiful habitat and a beautiful overpass. It's like way more complicated probably than what we did in Kuali Zoo. So Kuali Zoo was really a very nice test for it. And I am just really excited to start working on that. I really hope like tomorrow I'm going to upload the Red Panda habitat and I really hope that Sunday I might be able to, to finish that. I didn't start yet so it's gonna be a challenge. Uh, so I really hope that Sunday I'm able to upload the Jacksonville Zoo inspired habitat but if I maybe get some struggles we might end up with some other habitats first so don't pin me on it because it's going to be really a challenge to build that habitat but I'm really excited for it and it's really up to you guys what animal we're going to add in that habitat so would you guys like me to add the Siberian tiger or the Bengal tiger 
tiger because, well, we, we both have the white Bengal tiger and the white Siberian tiger too in our city zoo, so we can choose both. So I really want to give you guys the decision, are we going to add the Siberian tiger or the Bengal tiger in the Jacksonville inspired habitat with the overpass so do let me know in the comment section down below also of course do let me know what you guys think of this build uh, so as i said this is recorded before the south america pack so i don't have a zoo tour for this one because i already prepared everything with some cinematic shots but in the next episode when we do the rat panda i will also show you guys around with the flamingos because they are right next to each other so the zoo tour for these two habitats you will see in the next video but for this video i will leave you guys with some cinematic shots so do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this habitat if you have any ideas or suggestions let me know if you want to see the siberian tiger or the bengal tiger in the jacksonville zoo inspired habitat subscribe of course if you haven't already and leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and i really hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys